What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy GG Ray. Today, I'll be telling, I will be going talking about the specialists of Call of Duty Three. We have Rowan, Hot Rider, Prophet, Battery, Seraph, Nomad, Reaper, Spectre, and Firebreak. Now, to be to get started off with, please like and subscribe to the channel if you guys would like more videos related to games or any other things. Now, okay, so we're gonna be ranking them from one to ten. So, for me. Now, my number one would be Spectre. Okay, reason I would say this because Spectre, he's he's an assassin. He's like a top secret assassin. He's very with his Ripper. He is very good. You can take out like 18 people in less almost less than five seconds. And his invisibility is it, it's very short, but it can help you when like capture the flag or dip whatever you on. What is it called? Demolition, right? Right? Like when you have to go, when you have to go get there, it blows the thing. You can just go invisible and break that thing if you wanted to. And the Ripper, you can like, it's so easy. You can just press R1 and it's fast regeneration. It's the fastest perk at every specialist to get the fastest regeneration. So when you use that, that you can just slide in. Like there'll be like a red dot or like a red stuff on their backs and you can like see it. And then you just press you either press L one and R one or I don't know the Xbox or you can just press the melee weapon that how you move with your weapons and your knife and stuff. And then you can hit them just like that. But I just so personally this one's my favorite. So let's go so I put that in for rank number one. So number two would be Seraph. Now her annihilator is a massive high caliber caliber re revolver yeah, that that fires devastating rounds with increased bullet penetration which basically means it's so strong no matter how far you are if the bullet touches you no matter how far you are how close you are if the bullet hits you even once you just you're dead you'll fly off you you just dead you shoot the arm off their leg off their head off blow their body off to pieces it's so strong like you can't see like you just you can run but you just like you if they see you and they shoot you you're just automatically dead there's no dodging the bullet you can dodge it but you better hope you're not fast enough you're hoping fast enough and she'll be in combat focus she has a bonus multiplayer to score streaks like whenever she kills you know what score streaks so say like you have uav right say there's 250 i think that's what it is now say when you get a kill you earn 10 10 score streak points. So when you do the combat focus, you probably get 20, 50, I don't know. I have never used it because I thought it was whack to me. Because I don't really care about score streaks. I'm not that I'm not that little baby that goes around using score streaks. I'm a plain up man. I use I don't I use the annihilator, which I'll hardly even use half of the game. I just use regular weapons like my classes that I do. So yeah, that's why I put her in second place. And she is part of the 54 Immortals, if you play the campaign, you already know what I'm talking about. She's with that, that the gang that she's supposed to be fighting, like in the middle of the game. She's with them. But she is really one of the best of them at all of them. So I put her in second place. Now, third place, I would put Prophet. Prophet. His Tempest is a charged stop weapon that fires an arc of electricity, lethally shocking targets and chaining to nearby enemies. Okay, if you know the giant or, you know, Black Ops 1, if you, 2, or whatever. No, not Black Ops 2, but Black Ops 1, and this one, this one, and the giant map, that map giant. You know, the Wonder Waff, right, and the Water Wolf, the early, early ones, you know, how on zombies, it, it touches one, one zombie, and then it goes all the way to the next one. Yeah, that's basically what his is, but his is not that, it's kind of bad because it takes time to kill your enemy with it. And it, the charge up with it, it's charges, so you can't just go up to them and just do do do. You have to do do do. So it's kind of hard to kill with it, but it chains to other people. So say you're playing, what's that thing called? We have to extract the bot. Uh, I forgot. But you know, all of the bot, like when you have to extract the bot to the other one. Say that like all around him, right? And you're playing an online online multiplayer, local, a party, whatever you're doing. So you shoot them. You shoot. You shoot them, and then you get everybody else around the robot that's near him. So basically, you basically you take out the whole entire team. Now, when you take out the entire team, it just makes it better. Then, I don't know how this what affects the robot in any kind of way, but I know it it should, because if it doesn't, that's just kind of stupid. Okay, now for the glitch. Glitch. Flashback to a previous position while keeping all others' condition intact. So basically, what that means is he'll teleport back. So, okay, say. Say you go to Nuketown, right? Say you're in 
the orange building, the blue building. And then when you're in there, and then you boost out and you run all the way to the other building. And if you get like a five second, get there in like five, ten seconds, and you replay it, you might, you're gonna spawn back wherever you were at earlier. So like, you spawn five seconds back to where you used to be. Everything will be still, everything will still be the way it is. It'll teleport everybody back. Like so, if there's two enemies chasing after you, you do glitch, and you were behind them at first. You go right behind them. You just kill both of them. Like that, so it can be you. You can use that to. So you, when you're being hunted, you can be the hunter. They they were chasing you. And you could be you like you could have been behind. You could be on top of the car, and then they would have jumped off the car and try to start to get you. You would just teleport right back onto the car, and you could just start killing them. But when you get back right as soon as you get in the game, you can't glitch back to where you were before you died. You can't do that. You would just spawn right back to where you are at the moment. So that one I'll give a rank three. Now four I would give ruin. He's okay. He's a good guy. He's his gravity spikes are on fleet. They're awesome. They're they're savage. They're savage. They're nothing more than that. It's just spikes that create an explosive shockwave when stunned to the ground and strike all enemies within close range. So basically, he has two of his weapons that you can see on him. What he'll do is he'll get he'll jump in the air and he'll spike the floor. Obviously, that's what, what it look like. Like it's it's that obvious, but. If you come to think about it, it doesn't have a long range at all. It doesn't. It it's a short, short, short range. Like, but but when you but when you it was crazy is when you're in the middle in the air you can actually be killed, but it doesn't take that away. You can still do it again. But as soon as you hit the floor, it it can't replenish. You have to kill and wait to get it back, which is hard to do. Just to stay alive sometimes it's hard to do when you're playing like hardcore or something like that. And and what sucks about him is that you what sucks is you have to you have to use him. You have to use these four at the beginning of the game. You can only use these four. And he's not one of the good ones. But out of all the four you can start out with, I think he would go first, second, third, and then fourth. Now with overdrive, cyber cybernetic legs that upgrades upgrades that which that enable a temporary burst of speed. Now that means like when I guess he has a cybernetic legs, and it makes him run faster. He can jump faster, shoot faster, walk while shooting faster, back up faster, slide faster. Anything that you could do, that that you, any way that you move, he does faster than you normally can. He's the only one that can do that. Now that can give you a slight advantage. Now, say you're in a big map, a big map, okay, and you need to go across the map to go get something. Now, when you're going, you can do that, and you can go extra fast so it's a uh let's see a slighter chance of you dying because people are shooting you so that's for that one not put that in third place right did i say that yeah third wait no i'm one two three four yeah now for fifth place fifth place i would go for the fire break fire break hit a pure fire final flame don't that fact a steady stream of heat it scorches the enemies within close range. Now the great advantage of this weapon, basically it's a flamethrower. You shoot people and they burn them. Dead. Yeah, there's nothing more fun in that. What is that? Okay. Now, the flamethrower. If you shoot them once, like just for like two seconds, like one, two, like it's like one, two, shoot them, barely shoot them, or you barely touch them with the flame, they will burn over time. But so, but it's just better just to shoot them until they die, or shoot them like for like two, three seconds and then just let them go. And then should run free and they'll, they'll burn to death. It's it's because they it's not like they can heal themselves. So then, yeah, that's then, it, but it's not a close range. It actually, actually, it's a long range. Like from from Nuketown, when you go to a building, you can shoot almost past the train of a flamethrower. And if you know y'all play arcade, you know what I'm talking about. The flamethrower reaches like a far distance. It's really far. It can go almost a across the whole entire map. So. Yeah, about that one. That one's a really, really good one. I personally put that in fifth because he's not—he's not all that great, actually. He really isn't. His suits are kind of his. His suits are whack. You can see them. You got Pyro, Arctic, Jungle, Earth, Professional, BRN, EDO, and Biohazard. Yeah, they're whack. Whatever. Pyro, Arctic, Jungle, Earth, Professional, BRN, EDD, and Biohazard. And just, and the guns, he just doesn't go with any kind of gun. I, th I personally think the only guns he would be able to go with is probably a rocket launcher or something like that. 
Now, it'd be cool in this game if they could put, you can have your specialist weapon in your hand. But that would be very, very, very awesome. But no, it's just not. The heat wave, I've never used this before. But it's a, it emits a massive heat blast that suns enemies and destroys. This is so epic. Like, you can just sit still. There could be people around you finna ready to shoot you. You can just heat wave, like, burn yourself, I guess. I don't know what you do, but you burn the ground. And everybody else around you dies from the fire that you produced. And it destroys equipment. Destroys, let's see, C4s, chop charges, uh, trophy systems, a black hat. No, not a black hat. All those other stuff you can use as traps. Like trip mines, stuff like that. So, when you do that, it can produce you a bigger way, a slighter chance of you dying. But, when you, if you're in the middle of doing it and you die, it cannot be replenished. It cannot come back. And... So I'll put him in the sixth place, right? Six, I think so. Fourth, fifth. Okay. Now for six, my, this is these are my personal opinions. I put Outrider. At first when I saw this game, I thought this was gonna be beast mode because it had bow and arrows in it. It's a com sparrow. It's a compound bonus fire bolts with increased range. The longer it is drawn, enemies explode on impact. Now what he means is if you shoot the if you shoot if you shoot the bow and arrow, you shoot him right there, no matter what. You just shoot him, and then die automatically. But if you miss, or you still shoot them and they don't die as instant, it'll blow up just in case to make sure they die. And it has a long range. The longer you draw it back, the, the further it'll go. It could go across the whole new time map, probably, if it depends on how you shoot it. Probably so. I don't know, but the Sparrow's not that good, because whenever I thought this game, I thought, you, I thought it would have a lot of ammo. You can just shoot, 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 like, on the, the Rising Direction and all those other maps. I can't, it's hard to say them, pronounce them. So... Yeah, I give that. Uh, I give that a let's see, uh, six five, six point five out of ten. The visual pulse pulse around, pulse, pulse the surrounding area to reveal all in it. Okay, so say you're in your room, right? You're in your room, and now when you're in your room, you can you play hide and seek with your friends, your brother, your sister, your cousins. Hold on, guys, I'll be right back. Hold on. Okay, so say you're in your room playing hide and seek, right? You're playing with your cousins, your friends, your brothers, sisters, family, cousins, mom, dad, whatever. Friends or family, basically. Or just strangers. Huh? Yeah, right, right? You just go to someone and say, hey, you want to play hide and seek? Play hide and seek with them. So, now, the vision pulse is like, you can, I guess, activate something in your eye, I guess, or something. I don't know. And you can see everybody around you. That, like, you... When you're the character, if you get vision pulsed, you show up in red. Like, your body would be full red. And for her, I don't know how you see it. I guess you get, like, a, it's like a thing that you can see through the wall kind of thing. So, yeah, you can be seen within a range. But it can't go very far. So, that's why I put her in that. I'll put probably a 4, probably a 3.9 3 out of 10. Because it's not really useful. How would you need to know where everybody is? As long as, they're, as long as you can see them, you're good. Now, she's 6th place now. Who we have left? We have Reaper, Nomad, and Battery. Okay. So, I put I would put Nomad in seventh place. Okay. I know this is hard to believe. I know. I'm sorry, guys. This is my opinion. Hey, put in the comments below what's your opinion. The best from one to how many of these people are. Okay. So, so the Hive, the HIVE, Daily Trap Pods, which release Daily Swarm of Nano Drones, which when triggered. Now Hive. You have a weapon and you shoot it. When you shoot the weapon, it's like little pods on the floor. They're like insects, but in a technolog a technolog way. And they but they like bite you till you die. And when you they bite your your head off, and blow, your legs off, your ar arms off, your body in half, you blow up. And when you s and then and you you shoot it, it it makes it worse for the other people to survive. And it's vi and when you get blown, and you can't, there's no, it's not possible to run away. It's not. The, they are always faster than you. There's no way you can outrun them. Unless you probably have Ruin and Overdrive, that's probably the only way you could outrun them. Or just shoot them. Hold on, guys. Okay, so like, so, 
So reject is like recover from the position of your dip into an object and then to zero. Cannot reject when killed by a specialist weapon. So say you get killed by the Sith, the Ripper, or the Perk fight, you can't come back from that. But whenever you die for real, it's like you can die, and then he'll show his arm and then you can come back to life from where you are. So then when you come back, you just normal state, all your ammo's lost like normal. So I'll give that a actually an an eight out of ten because it can really be helpful in cer at certain times it can be really helpful depending on what situation you are in so yeah that's why I put that in second place now Reaper I don't like this personally I don't it is a cheating weapon to me it, it's a cheat it's a cheat to me it's not, it's not useful it's a ten out of ten because hey don't drink that don't drink that. Get him around. Because. Because it's. It's. To, oh, snap it. Take it. It's like an unlimited minigun. It's very cool. Get out of my room. No. Stay out. Just did. So. It's like a. It's like a. It's like a minigun on his arm. What? So it's like it's a sit and it's like it's it's just like a cheap weapon because you can just go camping and you know people go in a certain spot they just sit there and wait for people to come by and kill them. You can just do that. Sith. You can go there. You can sit there and you can shoot everybody from the for a second. You can see. I'll, I'll show you what it looks like. See, now you can just go, you can, when you aim, it makes it a lot quicker, so you can just automatically start shooting, and then you can just shoot, like, just like he's doing, but not shooting for reals. So that's what kind of makes it a cheat weapon for me, because you can just shoot this so fast, you're like, no way you can get out of it. Okay, now, the, this spawns three decoy clones that run forward to distract the enemies. Now, there'll be three clones, you don't know which one's the real one, the first, second, and third one. You destroy, if you destroy the real one, hey, good luck for you, it's a good thing, but, it's like, it's, it's not, it's good for, like, whenever, say, like, you're doing capture the flag, it can distract them, so you can be, like, the real one all the way in the back, and then they can be fake all the way up there, see, like, how, see, that's the real one, that's the real one, the blue ones are the two in the back, those are the fake ones, so, like, they'll be fake, and they'll be trying to go capture the flag, and do whatever you're supposed to be doing, but they won't shoot you or nothing. They won't shoot. So that's why you know they're fake. It's one of the events that you can use to see they're fake or not. Try to shoot them once, shoot shoot them a couple times, and they don't shoot you, then they're just, they're just fake. But it's obvious if you get shot, you'll always turn around and try to figure out who shot you and just shoot them. So yeah, I'll give that a seven. Now last but not least, the one I hate the most is battery. Number nine. Number the ninth one. Oh, you don't have to skip anybody? No, 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 no. Ninth one is battery, 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 battery. She is useless to me. She has no purpose in this game. No purpose at all. I've tried her. You need fire support? She sucks. I've tried. I've tried my hardest. Her stuff, her costumes suck. These co this costume doesn't suck. But I've tried my heart out. To play with her but she just sucks she sucks she sucks she sucks there's no more to it she just sucks but because reporting for duty. her war machine grenade launcher that fires bouncing grenades which don't detonate after a short time or by hitting an enemy directly that war machine it's a it's a what six war machine really come on what, what kind of accuracy do you have with the war machine what kind of accuracy what kind of damage you could blow yourself up and then it's like, it's just no, no, this is no purpose to me. And then her, that's what I had to say about her war machine. And then her kinetic armor, reactive armor that deflects enemy bullets away from the body, still vulnerable to headshots and non-bullet damage while active. It's so stupid. Why would you have kinetic ar armor if you can't shoot or you can't, you can still get shot in the head? It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't, it doesn't. Kinetic armor, you should be able to cover your head your legs, 
I like they, it should just make you. If they, they you, you can be shot in the head, shot to them, protect your head. How you to make you blind, or you can't, you can't see? Anything. Like until you can't see anything. Like it makes, it makes perfect sense to to make to make it where she's like, oh. It's kind of crappy. Is it because she can't be running with a headshot? She can't shoot. She can't knife. She can't do anything while the shield's active. Cause I was playing with my brother one time, and I didn't know the connect armor. It didn't. It was used to run with the headshots, which got me very mad. I was very mad. So guys, those those are the nah, one to nine. I'm out of my opinion. Now I will read their backstories if you want. Okay. Bio name, daughter wash, gender male. Born into the. This is the ruin. Born in a military family and raised in a tough neighborhood, Donnie Walsh grew up a f fearless and headstrong. Joining the army straight out of high school, Walsh is an in infantry soldier through and through the battlefield has become his second home. He is suspicious of covered ops and anything that operates outside the established chain of command, viewed as dishonorable. He prefers a straight up fair fight and he's never substitute for good boots on the ground. Now, so then, argument he uses his unique ability to rush headlong to the fray and leading enemies. Take, 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 take it out. Take it out. It's your choice. Well, I'll just end that right here so I gotta do stuff. So I will see you guys in the next one. What are you doing? I don't wanna play, I'm not playing. I don't